Hi everybody. Today we're going to go through bills you need to pay and how to create a new bill in Xero. So if you're on your dashboard, you can click here, a shortcut, bills you need to pay, or you can go up to the business tab and then click on bills to pay from there. Once you're in here, you can see how Xero breaks it down. You've got all existing bills, draft, awaiting approval, awaiting payment, paid and repeating. So awaiting payment is where you'd want to go to see any bills that you're still yet to pay. Here's the due date. And if it's highlighted in red, that means it's overdue. So they're the ones you'd probably want to action first. From up here, you can see you can create a new single bill or a new repeating or reoccurring bill. Now, very rarely would you have to be creating bills yourself if you are using Dex regularly. So Dex will input all this data and also your accountant will finish any of the coding if necessary. But if say you've forgotten to Dex something through or you've misplaced it, you may need to enter a bill manually and this is where you do it from. So let's click on new bill. We'll say who it's from. So who supplied us with something or who we purchased something off. We'll say the date that's on the invoice they gave us. So let's say we bought something last week and it was issued on the 16th of January and it's due at the end of the month. Now the reference, you'd ideally want to put in the invoice number that the supplier has given you. So on their invoice, find the invoice number and put that in there. Now you may also want to click and drag an attachment of that invoice into a PDF just so you can see it and you can make sure you don't make any mistakes that they definitely match. So from here, if you've imported this item into zero into your products and services, which you may have done if it's something you purchase frequently, you can start to find it just by typing. Or if you haven't, you can just start writing a description. From here, you'd enter the quantity that you've purchased, the price, and you want to make sure that the account and tax rate is right so that Xero can code it. So this is something you've purchased. Make sure the GST is correct. And once you're satisfied with that, you can either save it as a draft or you can approve it. And that's how to create a new bill and view your outstanding bills in Xero. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.